Today, I'm gonna to give you a free mini course on how to use text message marketing to dominate and attract hordes of people stampeding through your door like wild horses looking for sugared oats. I don't know, that's a little dramatic, but this really has become the most powerful marketing strategy for restaurants, and it's so powerful because it is also extremely affordable. Okay, so how are you doing today? It's Dave Allred, The Real Barman here from barpatrol.net and therealbarman.com. So having been in the bar and rest restaurant industry for more than 30 years now, I am fully aware of how outdated many restaurants can be when it comes to technology and marketing strategies. So if you're just coming upon this and you're not quite sure what text marketing is all about or if it can help you or if it seems overwhelming and daunting because there's so much unknown, then this is where you wanna be because you don't wanna miss out on an opportunity to really launch your sales and profits to new heights especially one as affordable and simple as this. Yes, you heard me correctly. Text message marketing is so simple and powerfully effective, you need to stop waiting around and take some action. Do whatever you have to do. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little mini training on this. I won't make it too long, hopefully. We'll keep it as succinct and to the point as possible. Um, so when I started really diving into text marketing, and I talked about this in my last video, I went into research mode analyzing and evaluating text marketing services and companies. And I found one that I really like. It's called Text2 VIP, and it's got everything you need to build a super successful text marketing strategy. All right, it's extremely affordable. And the main reason I really like them is that the support is fantastic. And support's always the most important thing when you're coming to technology, right? They hold your hand the entire way. They help you set up your account. And I contacted the owner, his name's Connor, he's a great guy. And Connor, out of the goodness of his heart, and because I asked him to, he provided me with a generous offer for my audience. All right, so if you use the promo word barman, when you sign up in the promo code field, you will get complete account set up for free and 1,000 free text message credits, All right, which is great because they normally do a 14 day free trial and they give you 50 credits. But because you're watching me, you're getting 20 times that if you enter barman in the promo field. All right, so you can try it out for free. You can send out a thousand text messages for free to see if it works for you. So you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So when you get a chance, you can click up here and go sign up for free and let them take care of you. I also have the link below in the description. Uh, in addition, if you want to see what Text2 VIP is all about before signing up, I'm going to have a video coming out soon that will be a demo for Text VIP um, so you can see what the back end looks like. And it's not out right now, but who knows when you're watching this video. Um, when it is, I'll also put a card up there for you. Okay, so enough of that. Let's get into the training. Now, the first thing we need to do in order to text people for text marketing is to anyone? Anyone want to guess? Bueller? Uh, yes, we need to get their phone numbers, all right? But in order to get, collect phone numbers, you must first get the customer's permission. You probably already know this. You can't just grab their number from a to-go order on your site and start blowing up their phone with, you know, midnight booty calls or whatever. So if you do have online ordering or any other system that requires their phone number, you can use their number to simply text them saying, join our texting club or however you want to word it. And if they reply yes, then they've given a permission for you to text them. All right, it's that easy. The other way is to simply get them to sign up when they physically come into your restaurant or if they spot your texting club and other places digitally where they can sign up. Now, before moving on to how we get people to sign up, I want to talk about naming your list or database of people. Okay, what I mean by that is that you'll see some places when, you, when they're trying to get you to opt into their texting list or email list, say something boring like, you know, join our newsletter to get updates or opt in to receive some discounts. It's just so impersonable. All right, give them something that has know, some personality, like a little pizzazz and imagination. Something like, you know, join our secret texting club to get awesome specials and deals and privileges or whatever. Call it a club or a gang or society or a cult. I don't care. Get creative so it sounds like something exclusive. All right, because people aren't that dumb anymore. All right, for the most part. All right, they're pretty savvy. All right, so these days, you know, they're not going to be like, wow, a secret texting club. You know, they want me to join a club. No, nobody's ever asked me to join a club before. All right, no, it's not going to be like that. But when you give them something that has, you know, some personality, a little zest, a little juice and creativity, that's going to increase your opt-in rate and grow your list exponentially. Okay, so let's talk about how to get people to opt into your, you know, your club. 
All right, now the way a texting service like Text2VIP works is that you have the guest text a keyword to a number that you have set up, like one, two, three, four, five. So it could be like text you know, Chipotle to one, two, three, four, five, if it was Chipotle who was building the list. Or you could use a QR code. They just scan it and opt in right on their phones. Very simple. All right, with that said, most people aren't just gonna like spot a QR code sitting there and join your texting club just for the hell of it. All right, in fact, Customers are 500% more likely to join your club if there's some sort of incentive like get a free appetizer or get 50% off your meal. All right, and you can just put that special incentive right on a table tent or your website and so on and so forth. All right, and I'm going to cover more of that in a minute. All right, and in case you're not good at math, 500% is a lot. It's like five times more likely to happen than 100%. And that's not bad. All right, also for those of you still bad at math, all right, the bigger your text list database gets, the more people you're going to get into your restaurant. All right, text messaging has a 98% open rate, which means practically everyone and their mother is going to open that text, which is amazing. All right, so now it's just a numbers game. The larger your database, the more people open your messages, the more people come in, the more money you make, the more G-Wagons you're able to buy. All right, it's freaking magic. And as your list grows, so does your, your success. All right, so easy a drunken hamster could do it. Okay, so now that we know that we need an incentive to get them to opt into our club, uh, what the qu next question is, you know, how and where do we promote our text club? All right, well, let's look at that. Number one, I already mentioned online ordering earlier, but since they are entering their phone number anyway to order food from you online, all you need to do is send them a simple text to opt in and they reply yes or no. It's that easy. All right, number two, post it everywhere. Your table tents, on your menus, on your windows outside, on your printed receipts, I don't know, tattoo it on your ass. I don't care. Put it everywhere. All right, you're in the business of growing your database. Your awesome food and drinks mean nothing if nobody comes in to enjoy them. All right, you want to be mega, mega successful at this? This is the way to contact your customers so you can build a relationship with them and remind them to come back and see you over and over again. Don't just put your sign up outside uh, in the name of your restaurant and say, well, you know, wish us luck. It's your job to take control of your marketing and building your revenue. You. All right. It takes you to take action. Does that make sense? All right. Number three, send it out digitally. And that means when you email them, all right, you put it on Facebook or Instagram or any other social media uh, presence you have, put it on your website. And this is sort of the same as number two, which is posted everywhere. But that was more for like posting it in physical locations. This is posting it digitally. All right. But they go hand in hand. Like, you know, like me and you. All right, number four, you know, have your staff promote it. And don't just mention it to your staff. Don't be like, hey, you know, don't, uh, you know, forget to tell people about the texting club or, you know, whatnot. All right, no, you, you need to, like, have it built into your customer service system. And I hope you have a customer service system uh, that your staff follows. I love systems, so I think you should have a customer service system. It's just a step of procedures, right? So that means that at some point during the interaction with the guest, that your staff is going to promote the text club. And you should define it. We'd be like, you know, number one, we greet the guest. Number two, we take their order. Number three, we put in their order. Number four, we check back with them within two minutes of the order hitting the table. Number five, we make sure they always have ref refills, et cetera, et cetera. All right, that's a ordering system or a customer service system. And at the end, when bringing the check, you have them say a line that is something similar to what you have scripted for them. Now, hey, everyone, thank you so much for coming in today. We really appreciate it. By the way, I highly recommend signing up for our text club. We send out some awesome deals just for members of our club. And when you sign up, you get a you know free appetizer. It's really cool. You can text the word club to 12345, whatever that number is, or you can scan this QR code. All right. Now, with that said, if you really want to get even more people added to your text club database, you should hold a weekly contest for your employees. All right, whichever staff member gets the most sign up wins, you know, an Amazon gift card or some other gift card or prize that you have. You can even have like first, second, and third place so everyone has a better chance of winning and they're all more incentivized to sell the club. All right, this is extremely powerful. You will have your staff growing your marketing list for you and it's going to grow huge if you do something like this. All right, number five. Uh, use to-go bags. All right, your to-go bags are basically an advertising platform. All right, it's a powerful advertising platform. All right, those bags go from your restaurant to their car, into their home, and then they lie around for another few hours. 
or days, and people are looking at them constantly. So you can have you know your opt-in message printed directly on the bag, you know, opt club to one, two, three, four, five, or it might be a cheaper option to have stickers made up, printed up, so you can just slap them on the to-go bags. All right, up to you, but utilize that space. Utilize everything you have to get opt-ins. It's the secret sauce to growing your list and getting more traffic and more sales. Okay, next up, how often should you send out text messages? This is a question I get a lot. Uh, there are different strategies here. All right, I, like I belong to email lists that email me every single day. All right, other email lists, they're like once per week or once every two weeks, but texting is different than emailing. All right, with texting, we don't want to overdo it or they might unsubscribe. All right, texting is much more intimate than email. With email, you know it's there and you can check it whenever you want, uh, but you don't feel compelled to. With text, it's like in your face all the time and you don't want to be bombarded with a barrage of text on a daily basis. So my suggestion is one to two times per week. So you might send out like a special or a discount for the week, but then you can also send out something to remind them about Trivia Tuesday. So you need to send that out too, all right? That doesn't mean you can't send out more, but you need to make sure that you have your finger on the pulse of your customers to get a feel for what they want. All right, how many people are opting in, uh, opting out of your messages? So you're looking at those stats being like, oh man, I'm sending out way too many text messages. I sent out five last week and people are opting out. All right, now when it comes to creating text messages and what to send out, it's best if you can map out an entire month. I might take you 15 minutes to do so and that's it. And then you'll be set for the entire month. So for one to two texts per week, uh, you're gonna need like four to eight, te eight text messages for the entire month. Or better yet, map it out for six months or the entire year. How awesome would that be? All right, you'd be good to go for the year. All right, and then you can send out extra blast texts if you want to at any time. But either way, map it out, uh, what you want to send, and then schedule the days you want to send them out. Done. All right, any good text marketing service can easily do this, including Text2VIP, which you should check out. And then finally, let's talk about what text you should actually send out. Like, what are you texting them to get them to come into your restaurant? Well, I'm going to give you some ideas here uh, that are highly effective and will help, you know, pack your place. But when it comes down to it is that you need to send out value and creativity, meaning write something that pops off the screen instead of just 50% off every single time. All right, so we're going to talk about that. But first off, <coughs> excuse me, when sending out text, you should know the difference between SMS and M MMS, just real quick. So with SMS texting, this is the basic text in which you get 160 characters to work with. You can insert links if you wish as well, but it's a basic message. And that usually is like one texting credit for texting services uh, like Text2VIP. So if you had like a thousand text credits, this will put you down to 999 if you send it out to one person. Does that make sense? And then with MMS, you get 500 characters, plus you can add a video or a message or a GIF or GIF. I never know the proper way to say that. But this will usually cost you about four credits with most services. So you'll have to weigh how often you want to send a, like a longer message or a picture or a video. All right, I will say that pictures and videos are highly effective in getting people excited about your offer. So you'll need to test both to see what gets you the best ROI. All right, so now let's get to a few ideas you can use to send your lucky guests. And I've already mentioned, you know, the most obvious one, which is discounts and specials. All right, you know, come in and show your server uh, this text and get 50% off your meal or buy one, get one free, you know, or half price cocktails, you know, whatever your heart's desire. All right, you can get mega uh, creative here with your promotions to get people excited to come in. And promotion ideas are another subject all by itself. Uh, if you want, you can click here and go get my big black book of bar promotions uh, to get you inspired and give you some ideas. Okay. Uh, and then number two would be announcing events, either weekly or monthly, recurring, non-recurring events like karaoke night or entertainment. If you're like a band that comes in and plays. You know, ride the mechanical bull, you know, pole dancing. I have no idea what you do at your place, but sending out event reminders gets people excited to come down to your place. All right. Uh, number three, a spontaneous message at any time you want. Again, this is a limited to your imagination, but uh, one place I know does what they call crappy hour, and this is awesome. All right. At any time the weather drops below like 40 degrees, uh, they give you happy hour prices if you come sit out on the patio, which seems ridiculous to freeze to drink, uh, freeze to death just to get a drink. The people love it. All right, so when the temp drops below 40 degrees, you send out a text message to all your list in your database, tell people to come down for crappy hour. All right, really cool idea. Uh, number four, national days. 
And as you probably uh, already know, every day of the year celebrates something, right? Some days are more obvious, like 4th of July, and then we have all the other ones, like National Corn Dog Day, or National Whiskey Day, or my favorite, which is National High Five Day. Okay, so you can send out a text saying, you know, come in and give your bartender a high five and get 50% off your first drink. All right, and this is exclusive to your club members, so it makes them feel special. All right, number five is an obvious one, uh, happy birthday text. You know, come on in, get a free dessert or whatever. Um, you, of course, need to collect their birth dates for this when they sign up for your text club. All right, unless you're clairvoyant. Uh, number six, a new menu item. All right, or a new menu in general. You know, text them, tell them the new menu is out, and then offer a special. Uh, and finally, number seven, and I love this one. Uh, guess how many marbles or pennies or jelly beans are in a jar? All right, this one is a classic. People love playing this guessing game. I don't know why, but they do. All right, so what you do is you text, guess how many jelly beans are in this jar, and the closest one wins a $25 gift card. Then you put a link in the text to your Facebook page with a picture of the jar and the jelly beans, and they have to post their guesses on your Facebook page, which gets you lots of engagement, and then the winner gets a $25 gift card. All right, and I got this idea from uh, Matt Plapp. I was on his podcast a while back, and he said something really interesting here. He said, some restaurants would try to do this little contest and do like a $100 or $200 gift card to get even more people to engage in the game. And the numbers actually went down because nobody believed it was true for the $100 or $200. It seemed like a scam to them. So $25 actually gets the most engagement. So you don't have to give away a bunch of money. Uh, and so I'm going to stop at seven ideas because I've got it in this little training at some point. But if you, you know, if you use your imagination, you could go on forever with this. All right. There's really no limit as to what you can send out to engage your customer base to get them excited to come in and see you and spend a lot of money. All right. Remember, it only takes three times to get people to come in. And then there's a 77% chance that they're going to become a regular, which is the end goal here. All right. So these text messages are like a weapon to help you win the war. All right. The war on making money. Okay, so that's going to do it. Again, make sure to check out my recommendation, which is text2vip, enter barman in the promo code, and you'll not only get a thousand free text messages, but they're going to make uh, take all the guesswork out and show you exactly what to do so you can become, you know, super text marketing genius. Okay, so I want to thank you for being here for this little training. I do appreciate it. I hope it helped you out, and I am going to see you next time. I'm looking forward to it. I'm out.